is going on guys today we are back are we even rolling i guess that's the better question here it appears that we're rolling what is going on guys today we are back with another video starting this video out at the different time of day it is sun is going down right now and it is about five o'clock 5 30 in the evening it's been raining all day long it's rained for the last couple days and I've kind of been dying to get out and do some of this night fishing, a bite that happens almost everywhere you're gonna go in the fall. Very shallow water, nighttime pattern, which is always a super fun way to fish, right? There's something special about catching a fish at night, and there's something special about catching a walleye in very shallow water. And you could do both of those this time of year, either casting or trolling. Today we hope to cast, but haven't done this at all this year, so we gotta pack some warm Sims clothes with. We gotta rig a rod or two real quick and then we'll be on our way to the lake to hopefully pound on some after dark walleyes in this kind of late fall time frame. Now, a lot of times these fall bites don't have to make it very complicated. One thing I always bring, a jig and a minnow. Just like to have it. If I'm on a lake where generally I know there's gonna be quite a few fish, I know they're gonna be pretty aggressive, then I don't generally mess around with my bait. But a lot of your like real small little local pothole lakes, where fish can be a little stingy sometimes, I will bring some jigs and live bait for that situation. Otherwise, one box that I always bring, suspending jerk baits. Walleyes love these things this time of year. Anytime walleyes are really shallow in the evening hours or if you got a big wind. Jerk bait. Suspending jerk bait can be a good option. Jerk baits. Check. Two, big box full of plastics. Nighttime is often about drawing some kind of vibration or some kind of level of an attractant, um, basically to the area or to your bait, obviously. Obviously, it is not only more difficult for you to see, but it's more difficult for the fish to see. Although the fish have something which is called a lateral line, which we as humans do not have, obviously, where they can actually feel that vibration from a distance, right? So a lot of times, uh, some kind of bait with some level of vibration can often be a good bait. And swim baits are often that, because they have kind of that thumper style action to the tail, right? And one additional way you can get more vibration out of a swim bait is by going with something like this, an underspin style of jig. This is a Kalen's Google Eye jig in gold, which is one of my favorites, with just that little willow leaf on the end. Pair that little 3.8 inch Kalen's tickle tail, you're gonna have the vibration from the tail, you're gonna have the vibration from the blade, and it displaces some water. So that's gonna be another good option for this kind of nighttime casting oriented type bite. So keep it pretty simple. We're not going out with much. This is like a casual after work trip. I've been on a computer all day, and it's time to catch a fish. So stay tuned. We got light, we got camera stand, we got baits. We have enough rods to get the job done. I'll see you guys at the lake. High temps in the mid 50s tomorrow. Winds will be from the south, southwest at about five to 10 miles per hour. Some gusts up to 20. All right. We are on the water. It is absolutely gorgeous out. Kind of windy, rainy all day. Rain broke up. High pressure coming back in tomorrow. Big front leaving us to that direction, which normally not as good after a front goes through, but you know, we'll we'll try our luck anyways. And uh, soon it will be dark out. So a lot of times this fall bite kind of kicks off when you get those mid 50 to low 50 water temps in mid to late October. And we're sitting at 54 right now. Kind of an abnormally warm fall, I'd say overall, but temps are right. And a lot of times the stuff, it seems like there's some kind of like internal clock fish or animals have we're like even though it might be unseasonably warm fish know that it's the right time don't ask me how but uh we're gonna blast off to the first spot hopefully find some fish hopefully proceed to uh catch a few of them we're gonna start with the old suspending jerk bait we'll gauge activity levels after that happens but we're for sure gonna start there
Got them. You guys see that? They just pop right up on it right there. <laughs> oh man, is that cool? Is that ever cool? And it's a nice walleye to start. Nice walleye to start there. Oh man. Go ahead and flip you on in, buddy. He's just number one. Not a great big giant one, but I mean, dude, if we can pile up these <laughs> after dark, that is good with me. You guys hate this light I use. You guys love this light I use. I mean, the realistic part about filming solo at night is there's not really just like a great option, really. Well, I saw, I probably took about three, four casts on this little rock spot. And it's real shallow, so the fish, you don't see a lot of them. But the one thing the Mega Live is cool for is watching those fish come up and interact and see where those fish rise. Now, if you see like a whole bunch of fish just kind of rise up and then not really like engage with the bait, good chance you probably need to fish a jig a jig and something or something a little bit slower. But hey man, for number one, we'll take it. Late fall, nighttime walleyes. Not gonna get giants on this lake. This is a bite that's easily accessible for almost everybody in walleye country with the jerk bait and some warm clothes because it obviously gets pretty chilly at night but let's do it again man that was fun cool watching them anyways that's for sure wow dude. that was just literally reeling in that one bit gotta be a bass right i don't know if it ain't a bass we might be in for a real fun little night huh should we get you guys a little light here? It's feeling more walleye-esque, I would say. Oh, we got flashy light. Feeling more walleye-esque, I would say. Show me the eyes. Oh yeah, it's a nice walleye. <laughs> Dude, he bit it. I was literally cranking it down to get it down to the right depth. And he absolutely just smoked it right there. As you can see, there's a couple more on my screen, even a little bit closer to me. Look at that, dude. There's a 20-inch fish. It's a nice one for around these parts. Get the headlight off. Got to remember all the in the dark filming little secrets here. Well, for fishing for about 10 minutes, this ain't so bad. The temperature is bearable. Nothing's freezing in the boat. That's normally my like, all right, we're done. We're moving on to ice season. It's that day you go out and like everything in the boat freezes. <laughs> but I mean, dude, we ain't there yet. And there's plenty of fall. It's been a very mild fall this year. Oh, oh got to get them back bright gold walleye right there been a very mild fall this year so it's kind of taken a little while to like get to this point where like a lot of these deep fall bites are actually popping but they definitely are now that is for sure when you get mid 50s water temps everything just seems to fire it's crappie basin crappies musky fishing you got shallow water walleyes which we've been filming for a few weeks now fall is a great time to be a fisherman See him following it for a second, then he finally got it. This one might be a bass. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, it's another nice walleye, man. Another really nice walleye here. Should we just leave this light on? It's just so obnoxious fishing with this light on all the time. <laughs> another really nice fish, though, dude. I mean, in, look at that. <laughs> in 10, 12 minutes of fishing, we've already got our first three culprits of the night, and they're just cookie cutter, like 18 to 20 inch fish. He just kind of barely nicked it. And the one thing <coughs> which I thought would be easier was going to be getting you guys some like really cool live footage. And at times it is cool, but the one thing I noticed is uh, I can't see which freaking direction I'm casting. <laughs> I know I'm out there and then it's like halfway back. I'm like, oh, now I know which direction I am. And I can put, put it right on that bait and see those fish interact. There we go, man. Another nice one right there. Now, if you don't have forward facing, done this for years without it. Get up on a lot of these shallow rock spots. The nice part is a jerk bait fish is really fast. So you can just kind of like chew through that spot. You know, a lot of these smaller rock spots and some of these smaller lakes. Another really popular way to do it is just to troll. Get on a lot of these bigger systems that have really big kind of similar depth flats, five to 12 feet of water, and just troll them. Oh, 
Oh, there's a bite. Let him eat it for a second. And on, boys. We got a bass, though. I think we got the other kind of fish that bites at night. Oh, no. There's another keeper walleye. Dude, he's so shallow, he literally just started jumping. <laughs> well, there's like a pan frying size right there. A little 15 incher. Cute little guy. Still on spot number one right after I switched to that jig in the middle. Got that bite right away. And a lot of times these spots will just kind of keep loading and loading and loading. I will say this, normally, I would say, it seems like that sundown or sun up is absolutely the best. In between, still can be very good, but you see it a little bit more kind of like hit or miss, it seems like. As you guys can kind of see by looking at the live, I'm basically casting to no feet of water. I mean, the bottom is, you know, 90 feet out, it's one foot deep up in there. So I'm not always using the live to just pick fish apart. A lot of times I might say like, you can see there's one really big rock, like right here. I'll make several casts at that. There was another big rock somewhere over this way, a big boulder right there. That probably warrants some casts. So a lot of times I'm just picking sweet spots in the rock to cast at too. That last one came right off that big boulder right there. All right, presentation wise, super simple, obviously. One rod. This is, whenever I'm fishing this way, number one, I want a very fast, very sensitive rod. To let me know when I'm on the bottom. Obviously, you can't watch your line in the dark because it's completely dark out. So you want a rod with a lot of sensitivity. So I am fishing a 6'9", medium light, fast action Elliott rod. This rod is just a great all-around jig fishing rod. Very fast, sensitive tip. Not a ton of like overload in the tip. So you get a lot of that, you know, you can feel that jig come down on a hard rock and then lets you know to kind of pop it up again. Pairing that with braid down to 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. Pretty simple, eighth ounce or 16th ounce Google Eye jig or Pendu jig. The other rod, rifling through a few different jerk baits. This one is a uh, Rapala Shadow Wrap. Sometimes I've had really good luck with Husky Jerks, Smithwick Suspending Rogues, all those baits, very good. Um, basically, this bait, the Shadow Wrap, will get you kind of down to that five to 10 foot zone easy on a cast. If your fish are super shallow, which it seems like a lot of them are now, a lot of times I'll go to like a Husky Jerk or a Shallow Suspending Rogue. One of those baits that it gets down in that two to three foot really good on a cast. So you kind of want to be able to make a little bit of bottom contact, but obviously if you're just jerking that bait in the bottom every single time, then it's not really doing what you want it to do. Suspending's key though. Colder the water temp gets, suspending, suspending, suspending is very important. Fishing that on a seven foot four Elliott identity series it's kind of like a rigging rod basically or rigging and jigging all around rod but um you don't need anything super fancy for jerkbait fishing same thing though braid so it lets me cast it a really long ways and fish the bait back and just kind of barely twitch that rod dip to get that bait to kind of stall and i always love times of year where you could fish super simple don't need a ton of different baits and fall is definitely one of those times that's for sure Get all those bigger ones sitting out there up way up high. Eat it. Oh yeah, he came back for it right there. <laughs> Oh man, did you guys see that interaction? That was cool, man. That was cool. You can see there's another one. It's kind of crazy how high in the water column they are. You guys seeing that? Another nice walleye right here, man. Another real nice one right here. Come on, don't come off last second. Don't come off last second. <laughs> They're sitting super high. You can see three, four of them out there right now. Way up high in the water column. That is super cool, man, to see that happen. That's the classic, you know, as that day turns into night those fish suck up shallow and start pulling off the bottom and actually hunting and a lot of times you'll see like right post turnover a little bit tougher fishing and on some of these like really gin clear lakes this style of fishing really shines this time of year like we could probably come out to a lot of these lakes in the day and do really well but a lot of these super clear lakes you might fish this post turnover bite when it takes them a little bit to kind of get settled after all the change that goes on you'll see the night bite be very good sometimes and then the day bite be very slow sometimes
All right, back in the garage. The warrior is tucked away. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Fished for a couple hours, probably caught eight to 12 fish, I would say. Um, nothing crazy big, but you know, that's a lot of these little local lakes that we're fishing around here. If you catch a bunch of 15, 20 inch fish, that is a good outing. Obviously you can replicate this on big fish water and have big fish success, but um, felt good to get out, make a few casts. We're slowly winding down on the season. Kind of sad, but with the end of one season brings the start of another. And we're starting to get a few ice fishing things in the mail already. Crazy. But hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this one. Um, we'll, we'll do a couple more open water fall videos on the way for sure. But appreciate you guys watching this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Get out, do some night fishing this fall. Enjoy some great fall fishing. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys are not yet, please subscribe. Please do that. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you guys next time.